the fighting pride of Philadelphia, PA, undefeated, Teddy Swift Garcia! Y por eso salió a, a tirar golpes, se ve el que mucho tiene buenas cualidades. Tiene Michael pegada, Michael obviamente Michael tiene pegada. Michael Denny parece un poquito más tieso y sí. las piernas se le están ahora haciendo como de goma de mascar. Se va wow. corriendo de lado a lado, se estrella contra las cuerdas y en cualquier Six, momento se ve de esta pelea. Allen Huggins podría decir, sí. se acabó todos. Se acabó ahora todo. Sí se acaba. En ese último golpe, todo. lanzando una buena izquierda, Danny García. De fila de... Ah, lo vemos nuevamente otra vez. Y por luego se, se miraba el talento de, de, de Dani García comparado a su oponente, ¿verdad? Tenía... Vamos una vez más ahí, mira, comienza ahí. con un buen gancho. Va, gancho al hígado y luego remata otra vez arriba. A la quejada ahí lo, lo tienen mal. Le tocó al Maco Leiva y le tocó también. ¡Uy, qué derecha! De ¿Sí? Dani García y también a, a José Díaz. ¡Uy! Oh, ahora fue la izquierda después de esa derecha que había recibido Mano Cortés. Y de izquierda simplemente lo puso ahí acosadito y dijo, aquí pongo la almohada y no me levanto. Dani García, aquí lo está agarrando. Bueno, esto fue la izquierda ya al final de, de la pelea. Marlo Cortés simplemente se acomodaba para irse al país de los sueños anteriormente había venido una mano derecha afortunadamente Marlo Cortés seconds of round one scheduled for 10. Big right hand. Garcia with a knockdown in the final seconds of the round. You know that Danny Garcia wants to, you know, really put a big finish on this fight. Wants to impress his friends and his fans here in town. Let's see how he goes about his business. See, he was just about on his way down there, and this is pretty much the beginning of the end. Now we'll see the knockout punch. You'll see him dip and then throw his, a short right hand. Down he goes. Oh, 
Hablando de gimnasios, qué mano derecha, one more time por parte de Dani García. Zarandeándole, haciéndole el sacamocos completamente al Kip Keio Fernández. ¡Oh! Otra vez la derecha. Ahora la izquierda y es aquí donde la visibilidad puede afectar a Fernández. Ya, ya tiene que parar el Steve Mulder. La esquina tira la toalla. La esquina está tirando la toalla en la esquina de Fernández. Steve no lo ha visto. Steve no lo ha visto, pero ya la comisión le está pidiendo que pare la pelea. Dani García, sigue presionando ahí, Dani García buscando las partes blandas del Coqui Romero. ¡Oh, qué mano izquierda por parza! Ah, no! En malas condiciones continúa el Coqui. Esa mano izquierda y tiene que intervenir Manuel Alcula también de este joven. Vean qué mano izquierda, me lancen las piernas de Dani García, no se descubre. No se aloca, sino que simplemente mide, conecta a su rival. Y aquí está el final, la mano derecha, otra segunda, tres golpes y hasta ahí. Muy buena, él solamente toma el paso hacia atrás y es suficiente para esquivar la mayoría de los golpes, aunque ya empieza poco a poquito Dani García a descifrar la guardia zurda de Arnatis en solo boxeo de campo. De Dani García le aflojó por completo las piernas de Mari Mai y está realmente lastimado. Habíamos hablado del knockout del año cuando enfrentó a Jorge Romero. Y ahora, ¿qué me dicen de esta mano por parte de Dani García? Llegada descomunal. Llegó a la decisión con Juan Urango. Empate y ahora qué derecha de Dani ya está lastimado. Está en problemas el griego Mari Mai Carnaval. Y Gary Rosato le sigue contando, aunque realmente el griego está desconectado. La esquina me dice, no más. Esto, damas y caballeros, se ha acabado. Tremendo nocao por parte del invicto Dani da García. Le va a desconectar completamente las piernas. Y esa es la izquierda que lo pone de rodillas. Sí, pero anteriormente había sí. habido una mano derecha que había puesto ya. Va a ser difícil que, que logre. ¡Oh! ¡Qué mano izquierda por parte de Swift García! Puso los pies en temblorina de John Figueroa. Y debió ser caída porque las cuerdas lo detuvieron. Si no se hubiera agarrado de la cuerda, definitivamente hubiera caído. Y se acaba la contienda rapidito. No sé si fue porque John Figueroa realmente no vino a dar nada. Una mano izquierda que, que le puso los pies en temblorina. A John Figueroa se agarró ahí de la cuerda para no caerse. Bien lo estabas comentando, ese era el lockdown. José Cobian todavía le permitió que recibiera un par de coscorrones más. Y aquí es donde va a venir el final del combate. Uno en la nuca. Sí, ya, ya, ya. Ya Figueroa no quería nada. Por eso ni, ni protestó. Garcia's face is breaking up under the pressure that Amir Khan is putting him under. Down goes Pat! There it is. Off a sensational counter left hook by Garcia. Sensational counter left hook. And Amir Khan may not get his senses back before the end of the round. You okay? You okay? Yeah, it's not right okay? in the bottom. I'm just saying Garcia's a to see if he's ready to fight. Bayless is going to let him stay in the fight. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Amir Khan was in huge trouble. Here you see Amir Khan throwing a right hand punch, getting caught with a left hook, followed the, and he didn't do anything wrong. This is just what happens in boxing when you have flashy changes. That's what where Garcia is dangerous in the exchanges. The left that he's getting himself hurt. Third knockdown. Third knockdown of the fight. Doing the 
first round. Five, six, seven, eight. You okay, man? Yeah. 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 Make sure he is close enough and that he's ready in case it does have to happen with this 36-year-old getting pounded. He's not at that point yet, clearly. Four-punch combination ended with a right hand to the top of the head. Danny Garcia's doing, oh my. Just a brilliant shot. Knocks Morales through the ropes. And the trainer got in the ring. And it's over, y'all. That's it, just like that. He set up the left hook. Just as good a punch as Danny Garcia could throw, and he has great power in the left hand, and it was one of the best he's thrown. It was thrown with great... Uh In December, he appeared on Show Extreme and oh, dropped the oh, wall, and he just got rattled there by Danny Garcia, and down goes Rob Selka. Perez, the older brother of Mexican superstar Canelo, as he's still getting rocked here with the left hook from Garcia, and Garcia now smelling blood. And there's a lot of time left in this round. I see him loading up everything. And a knee is taken by Salka. Seeking, looking to destroy, unloading. Sorry, even the referee Steve Wolf is making a face like he wants to stop this. And he may be very close to doing so, but Salka showing his grip. And Hart gets rocked with that left hook. Salka down, and it's over. the range. You don't want to see that. Not if Vargas you're going. and gentlemen, presenting Keith Wilson Herman. Herman had 110 amateur fights. I mean, after 110 amateur fights, I just don't think you have to fight this level of opposition over and over and over again. And Travis Hartman goes to a knee here. Six, seven, eight. Does he become a better fighter? And I think the answer is no, you don't become a better fighter again. The record becomes a little bit better. And they are going to see Thurman problems being overmatched here. He's much smaller. 
than Thurman. Junior welterweight most of the career for Hartman. He's been as low as 134, while Thurman has fought from 150 to 152 pounds. And if Thurman goes to the body now, this fight will end. This fight's going to end any second unless Hartman throws anything. Time has been not as difficult as some of the other fights that we've seen here tonight. Nice uppercut right into the body. That put him right down. You could hear him exhaling. Oh, they let the. Herman just. Raises him with that right hand, but that's the power we're talking about, and I, I think that, it cut him. I, I thought that could have been a slip right there when he bounced off the rope trying to get his feet. I didn't think that could have been a knockdown, but. There's that left hook to the body again, and if the, that's over. You get here. Rojas exhale again with that body shot. left hook to the body. Thurman just looking for that open. Oh, nice. Yeah, that really hurt Hoskins. Thurman dominated the punch exchanges in the opening rounds, throwing fast, powerful shots with deadly accuracy. And in round three, the ref had seen enough. Hoskins saying coming forward, not a good thing. Stop. Referee says, show me something, stop it. Good move. Good move. Good job. You have to deal with me pretty soon. out and take care of your business get in the ring and they fight defensively if he can follow it up with another of what has become his trademark to be anybody another quick counter left took after laura landed the right hand good uppercut by kind of floored whose mouthpiece just came flying out oh, laura laura's yep not stopping laura from round right. three between keith thurman and orlando laura laura staggered by a left hook momentarily there thurman that you're going to see some kind of kind of fight for Thurman than it is. Still to come tonight, the main event in Cincinnati between local star Adrian. Vicious right hook to the body. You muster up to get him with. And tonight, that's what Lawrence going to look like. Again, he goes. Well, maybe not. Two, three, four. Orlando Laura has had enough. He made that clear, walking to his corner and talking to his trainer while listening to the camera. Protect yourself at all times. Good luck. Now, peace. Touch him up. Good luck. Katana has a lot of experience at this. Came to set a trap and force oh. an eager young puncher into that position. And there's a body shot. Allow Thurman to use some of that energy and power. He wanted to see how Thurman would handle a larger ring in a situation like this. He's doing the good. problems is you hit a guy in the elbow. Oh, there he is. He's hurt bad. Oh, there he is. This, this will be the end. Quintana's done after the he's left hook. Yes, he done. is out it's on a his... really interesting fight. Let's see if Thurman remembers to go to there the body. He is. He's not going to make it out of this, though. <laughs> he seems he's to dead. be thoroughly out on his feet. Yes, and Thurman is trying to find it. the target. Yeah, and so. now Jack Reese is going to stop it. <laughs> no point in waiting to see that go any further. No, it wasn't.
vi la intuición en el camerino. Vamos a una pena limpia. Que tenga suerte. Decided, let's try to make it technical. The body as we go to the seven. Good. And the action oh. picking up here as Chavez seemed to get. Oh, body shot there oh, by body shot. Thurman, and it drops Chavez great to one shot. knee. The third time he has been down in his career. Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation as Thurman on the attack, swarming Chavez along the ropes. Wow. And Chavez is again down on the canvas. For the second time in the fight, the fourth time in his career. And this fight is over. Keith Thurman stops Diego Chavez. Be my commands so and protect yourselves at all times. Touch gloves, good luck. That same overhand right that hurt Andre Bernal. Stiff jab showdown between the undefeated Keith Thurman who attacks Soto oh. body and lands a right hand and Soto staggers backwards in the dying stages of round one and turns the tables. What a start! With a lead left hook there by Thurman went 16 and 1 as it at close range it's good but it's try to yeah. throw it early. Establish himself back in the center of the ring. There's oh. a beautiful oh. left hand. Turn the corners a lot. Now some of that Thurman is teeing off on the head of Soto oh. and down goes Soto Wow! Pace to start this round. Yeah, his nickname is determined uh, for a reason. Catches that left hand on his arm, and there's a right right hand. Hand. wild right hand that crosses and Soto Kana him again. in the corner hurt after got tagged with that right. He's been down once in the that lateral lead. movement. Soto Kana's unable to cut oh. off the ring, and he eats a right hand, and he is hurt. A left hand, and Charlie steps in. The fight is over. Keith, one time. with another fantastic performance here in San Antonio. Very impressive, guys. Fight hard, but fight clean. Good luck to both of you. After what we witnessed as Thurman... Oh, solid left hand by Thurman. The right hand clips Diaz. And Thurman swarming Diaz. Angle, so I'm excited to see that. Good exchange to end the Flex right. a welterweight, but again. Oh, and he eats a... Oh, the left uppercut jacking the jaw of Diaz. Left hook and Diaz. And that's what makes him dangerous. You know, how could you train for a guy like this? Down. Diaz takes a knee. Three, four, five. A solid round for Keith Thurman. Fun in there, guys. He has his hands down, he's moving, he's smiling. Oh, right hook, a right hand by Thurman, but look at Diaz come back. He wants to turn it into a firefight and give the fans a show. As Diaz just get caught. Let's he, see how much. And he got stunned early by Jesus Soto Canas in his last fight, but and, came back to stop him. And by Chavez. Julio Diaz is gay. I don't know what it is about the air at the wow. Stump Pump Center, but it brings out the best of these warriors, Keith Moon. I think Re Referee Jack Reese has just come over to us and told us that the corner of Julio Diaz has stopped the fight due to a rib injury. Former world champion Luis Collazo. Athletic, and he obviously looked good, but then Collazo found his stride and he did it with that body shot in the fifth ten. Yeah, left hand to the body and watch it. He timed it perfect. As he throws the right hand, he goes under with the left hand. That's a shot that stopped 95% of fighters. However, a cut and then this. And they have to respond that they want to fight on.